Welcome! Let's see how string indexing works behind the scenes in Python, how you can get an individual character of a string. For example, right here we have the string with individual characters P, Y, T, H, O, and N. What if we want to access an individual character of this string to check, for example, if it's an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, if it's a vowel, or any other type of test that we want to perform on these characters? Well, if we separate the characters of the string like this so we can have a little bit more space to work with, we can see that these characters are enclosed in something that is very similar to a grid. This is an analogy, this is what happens behind the scenes because each element of the string has its own place in the grid. And that location is marked by an integer, from 0 to 5 in this case for the string Python. These numbers are collectively called indices, and each one of those numbers is called an index, so we can use them to access their corresponding character. For example, we can say that the character O is located at index 4. This is its corresponding index, and we can use this number to access the letter O in the string Python. Notice something right here. The first character of the string is located at index 0. Not at index 1, like we would regularly assume that we start counting from 1, right? This is because in computer science, it's very common to start counting from 0 using zero-based numbering. This way, the first character of the string is located at index 0. So we can use this index, the number 0, to access its corresponding character. Then, from that initial index, 0, we add 1 as we move to the right to get the indices of the corresponding characters. In this case, index 1 corresponds to the letter Y. Index 2 corresponds to the letter T. Index 3 corresponds to the letter H and so on. 4 corresponds to the letter O and 5 corresponds to the letter N. Let's see something interesting right here. The last character of the string is located at index 5. This string has 6 characters, 6 letters, but the last index is 5 because we are starting to count from 0 instead of 1. So you will always find that the last index of the string is the length of the string, how many characters it has, minus 1. In this case, the value of the length of the string is 6, and we are subtracting 1 from that value, so we get the final index 5, right here. Let's see this in practice with an example. Right here, we are defining a variable called string, and we are assigning the string Python to that variable using the assignment operator. To access the individual characters of the string, we need to use this syntax. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better, and right here we have the variable that references the string, and within square brackets, we write the index of the character that we want to access. If we draw a little diagram of the indices of the string, we can see that the character at index 0 is the letter P. So this will give us the first character of the string, the letter P, at index 0. Let's see this by printing the value. If we save the file with Control S and then we click Control B to run the code, we see this output. This right here evaluated to the letter P. Let's do this with all the remaining characters of the string. Now we're going to print the character of the string at index 1, which corresponds to the letter Y. If we save the file and run the code with Control B, you can see that now we have the letter P right here and the letter Y right here. Let's do the same for all the different characters of the string. Let's write this with the corresponding characters. We save the file and run the code, and right now we can see the output, exactly what we expected. We have P, Y, T, H, O, and N. Each one of these expressions evaluated to the corresponding characters. So now you know how to work with string indexing in Python. You can use these expressions in more complex programs to access the characters and to check if they meet certain criteria or to use them directly.
I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel to be the first to know when I upload new videos.